The first reading is a reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. Then truly will the Lord, the God of hosts, be with you as you claim. Hate evil and love good, and let justice prevail at the gate. Then it, may, then it may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will have pity on the remnant of Joseph. I hate, I spurn your feasts, says the Lord. I take no pleasure in your solemnities. Your cereal offerings I will not accept, nor consider your stall-fed peace offerings. Away with your noisy songs. I will not listen to the melodies of your harps, but if you would offer me burnt offerings, then let justice surge like water and goodness like an unfailing stream. The word of the Lord. <laughs> well, now, I can't even get two pages unstuck. There we go. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Hear my people and I will speak. Israel, I will testify against you. God, your God, am I. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. For mine are all the animals of the forest, beasts by the thousands on my mountains. I know all the birds of the air, and whatever stares, stirs in the plants in the plains belongs to me. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. If I were hungry, I should not tell you, for mine are the world in its fullness. Do I eat the flesh of strong bulls, or is the blood of goats my drink? To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, you who hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. My brothers and sisters, may our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When Jesus came to the territory of the Gerasenes, two demoniacs who were coming from the tombs met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of many swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, If you drive us out, then send us into the herd of swine. He said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swine, and the whole herd rushed down into the deep bank into the sea, and they were drowned. The swine herds ran away, and when they came to the town, they reported everything, including what had happened to the demoniacs. Therefore, the whole town came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, today in the Gospel, it has a different ending than you would expect, right? Here's two demoniacs, everybody's afraid of them, no one can even go by that way. Jesus comes and he casts the demons out into the swine. The swine go and get killed. They tell everybody and they say, would you please leave? Why? because the swine is where they made their money, right? And they were more concerned about their money than they were about these two people who were possessed or God being present in the world and different things. It's the same thing, and that's what Amos is screaming about in the first reading today. He's saying you're more concerned about money than you are about justice. Now justice is something, it's giving to each one what is due them, right? And we need to be this. That's why when Jesus ultimately says who's going to go to heaven and who's going to go to hell, Jesus is, I was hungry and he gave me food. I was thirsty, he gave me drink or get out of my sight because I was hungry and he gave me no food. That's called justice. So we can never separate our call from love of God and worship and justice. 
It's all got to be the same. If you come every day to prayer, every come every day to receive Jesus, you must take care of the poor to be saved. You must. You can't just be holy, holy here and nobody here and nobody here is like that. Most everybody here is very generous. But there are people that just follow, I'm just going to worship God and follow him, but heck with everybody else. <laughs> They'll never make it to heaven. Because heaven's the place where God loves everyone equally. He doesn't love you more than someone else. He loves us all the same. And guess what? We got to do the same. So let's not be more concerned about our money or our own thoughts or our own political party. Let's be concerned about what God's concerned about. Let's do his will. And then we live forever. May Trinos love today and forever. Amen.